Hello, welcome to Spring Boot tutorial series. In this video, we'll see how these microservices will communicate each other. Okay. So usually there is a two different services. One service is running in one machine, another service is running in another machine. So in this case, so service one required response details from service 2 so service 1 needs to communicate with service 2 so service 2 is having different remote machine right so in this case if you want to communicate with service 2 we need to go with rest template so this rest template will help you to call with external microservices okay and today we'll see our use case. So if you see my screen, so here two services, one is course, another one is student. So course is running on port 9090, service is running on 9899. So here I am not using any external remote machine. I am running two services in two different ports. Okay. So this service will communicate to this service. Okay. Through this rest template. So first we need to create the student service for that one we need to go to start.spring.io and we need to add four dependencies one is web jpa lumbar mysql driver this is for student service and the same we need to do another one for course also so now we are ready with two services course and student uh, we need to add the functionality for these two services for that we'll import these two services into IntelliJ student service will provide add student update student delete student and get student and same course also will provide creating course updating course deleting course get the course but one extra api we are providing in the course uh, service like get all students with this this course service will communicate to that student service for this one we need database installation also so if you are already installed database that is okay if you are so for this video we need the mysql installation is required in your system so if you don't know how to install mysql so you can just go through this uh, video you'll get idea to install mysql server in your local system this is a student service so i have created this uh, student service from the start.spring.io and i added one entity here so if you see student is the entity here i'm adding id name course these are the three properties i'm added for the student okay and i'm using the repository like jpa repository okay and after that in the service class i am using student service so if you the, see the student service so these are all about the uh, business functionalities what we are going to do with the student service so first one is nothing but save students so here we'll create the new student using this and another one is for get student by id we can fetch the student based on the id and we need to fetch all the student information and finally we can do the delete operation so if you come to the controller we'll get some more idea so this is the api endpoint students and create students with this api we will going to creating the students into the database and then we can read that student based on the id it will fetch from again mysql database and here it will get all the student information and finally you can want to update you can update and delete these are the five apis we created in the student so also we require database properties we need to define the data pro database properties as well so if you see i am mentioning server.port this service will run 9090 and this is the schema and this is the username password so these are the properties required to work with mysql databases okay so quickly we'll start the service first so if you see my database also so 
so if you see my database schema also this is the test schema there is no student there is no course table now okay okay let me start this uh, service now student service so once you start this student service it will create the table in the test schema so you can just observe this logs also so tomcat is started it is started in 1990 these are the related to jpa logs and uh, here it is written some query to create the table so go to the database and refresh now student table is ready with id customer name id course name with the student table is available now in the same way we'll try to see the course also so this is my course service if you see my course service also so here i am providing the controller so this with the course i am performing the operations like uh, create course and update course based on the course id and you can fetch the code based on the course id and you can get all the courses then we'll uh, delete the course so apart from that there is one more api we are added to communicate student service see now student service is running on 9090 and uh, this course service is running on 9898 okay so this is the api it will communicate to the external microservices if you see how it is communicating so here i am passing the url for that external uh, service so here instead of localhost we need to mention this ip or address of the remote mission where that uh, microservices is running so then we can use the rest template this rest template will call this uh, api using get for object and it will return the student object so where we are getting this rest template i am creating this object in the rest template at the time of starting the application here only i am using annotation bin to create the rest template okay so remaining course services is same as it is this is having five functionalities now one extra functionality getting all the students from the student service okay this is my repository okay i'll give you this code github link into the description you can just try in your system once also so let me start this uh, course one now so once you started this course so if you see this is running on 9898 and here also create executed create statement now go to the database and you can exit so now come to the postman and first we'll try with the student so in the student already i prepared some json for this so first i am given some student name like john and this course name is computer science otherwise you can mention you can change the course name to spring boot okay so he is looking for spring boot his name is john okay if you execute this post one if you see the response it has created one id with john it will he is expecting spring boot course if you want you can enter one more entry like uh, wilson and he want data science course okay so if you execute this one so there is one more entry this id will be automatically generated by jpm that is primary key okay if you come to the database and if you re refresh this student see in the student table we have the two entries now okay so now we can retrieve the student entries so there is a one get api based on the id we can retrieve i am passing student id as a two if you see it will return the wilson if you want to read all the student details then we can go to that get students you can click this api then it is returning two students okay like this you can do that you can try with put as well as delete also okay uh, this is all about student now we'll go to the customers so course service now if you see course is running on 9898 this is the course name i'm giving course name is like a python and if you enter then inserted one entry then another course name we can give like a spring boot then click on enter click on and if you see this is the 
two items are inserted now if you come to the database under you press this course there is a two entries now okay and uh, now uh, you want if you want to retrieve the course details then come to the course id what is the id id one so it will give the id one course details if you give id two id two course details it will give okay now what we need to do so there is a under put and delete also you can try this put and delete but uh, our main concept is com microservices communication is important for us so this is the service this is a student service this service is communicating to the so this is the service okay students so it is a course slash students so this is the service it is communicating with student service from the customer we'll try to hit this api once and see the result okay and come here and uh, click on send then if you see two students details are coming so come to that students database and click how many entries are available here two entries are available okay so like this we need to communicate one microservices to another microservices the microservices is running on external that means a remote machine we need to specify that particular name or particular ip address of this remote machine okay and if you see here so i just mentioned in the code level this ip address but it is not a recommended we need to move this one into that properties file okay and this is all about uh, this video i hope it is helpful for you so please like share and subscribe my channel thank you